What's going on everybody? Tribbleson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today, still a little bit under the weather. I have a cold trying to kill it with a little whiskey. So I don't want to do any reviews, but luckily we've got some more news to discuss. Michter's is dropping a $6,000 bottle of bourbon. I'm gonna need to sell a kidney to keep up with all of this. Let's just head right on over here. We're gonna get into everything we know about this. So far, we're gonna talk about it. We are going to react to it. They got videos, they got posts. So over here, seven hours ago, Michter's Distillery made a little Facebook post. Yes, we are thrilled to announce that Michter's Celebration Sour Mash will be released for the first time since 2019. We will be again shipping the 2022 edition this February 2023. Uh, they had a delay. It was supposed to come out in 2022. Coming out 2023. Whatever. This is the second time that I have had the honor of working with our team to produce a Michter's Celebration release, remarked Michter's Master Distiller, Dan McKee. This edition contains whiskeys personally selected by me from seven extraordinary barrels. Three of them Kentucky Straight Bourbon, four of them Kentucky Straight Rye. So I guess that's a thing. I, I've never had a, a Michter's celebration. So before we go any further, you know, how fair is it for me to truly judge this? Because I've never tried it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a Tesla. How can I truly have an opinion of a Tesla? I don't have one of these. I've never tried it. So this is from an outsider's point of view. I'm going to, you know, judge it from an outsider's thing, but I'm going to try and play, you know, devil's advocate, try and see, look at things from a different point of view. Here we go. This part is pretty crazy. These seven whiskeys in this special blend range in age from 12 to over 30 years old. That's crazy. Now, I, I don't think they really go into the uh, specifics of which is age, you know, is it a 30 year old bourbon? Is it a 30 year old rye? You know, I think those higher aged ryes are a little more common than a 30 year old bourbon, but who knows? It's still insane, uh, the age range that's going into this. Only 328 bottles of the 2022 edition will be released worldwide. It is 112.8 proof and will have a suggested retail price of 6,000 per bottle in the United States, which is insane. And we'll dive into that a little more here in a second when we go over to the uh, the Michter's website to kind of look at the other ones, but they got a nice little video here. So let's do a little wrench reacts to this video. It's pretty cool. They really sell it. You know what I'm saying? They, they convinced me. Victor's celebration. All our whiskeys are wonderful, but this release would show some of our absolute favorite barrels and blended them to perfection. Victor's celebration sour mash is a representation of the passion and artistry of our team. Look at that box. Alongside Master Talk Victor about Dan McKee, marketing. An exceptionally rare and special product. For this release, I sampled some of our special Kentucky Sour Mash whiskeys from barrels aged anywhere from over a decade to over 30 years. I mean, come on, the, the dude's got white gloves on. It's the culmination of years of hard work from our entire team. It is beautiful. This is an exceptionally rare whiskey with a release comprising of just 328 lots. It has an enchanting and enticing nose. It embodies bold elegance. The finish is long and lingering and dynamic. She's selling both well-aged bourbon and rye. At Mictors, we strive for excellence in every drop of whiskey we release. I hope you enjoy drinking this whiskey as much as I do. Yeah, I mean, for one, the marketing's on point. Look, what? <laughs> A little hidden note. The box is, is exceptional. And that, you know, I always say that. If you're going to charge me a lot of money... Okay, I'm not used to spending $6,000 on a bottle. But if it... If you're going to charge a lot of money, it better be in a box. It better have little hidden doors on it. That's that's pretty cool. They they sold it. Uh, you know, 6000 though, is a lot. And, and I was wondering, I was thinking about this all day because I saw the $6,000 price tag. 
And I was like, I don't know, have they always been that much? And I'm fact checking right here live on the video. I pulled up the 2019 Michter's Celebration and right here, retail price of $5,000. And there was even less bottles. So, you know, naturally gonna increase the price, but it's always been ridiculous, okay? Always been very, very high priced. Um, let's move over to the, the website. You can see, you know, the whole, I don't know, they're making a, a big deal about, you know, the first time since 2022, but judging by this, 2013, 2016, 2019, 2022, that's the natural progression of how they do this. So I, I, I thought it was, you know, something crazy had happened, but they obviously don't do this all the time. Some more information about it. They just talked about a little more. In pursuit of its goal of offering the greatest American whiskey, Michter's first release, its celebration in 2013, this watershed moment in United States whiskey history marked the first time that an American company was offering a rare blend intended to rival the finest spirits made anywhere else in the world. That's a very important statement as to why I think things like this exist, um, and we'll come back to it. For this release, Michter's master distiller Dan McKee consulted with Michter's Master of Maturation, Andrea Wilson, who really knows how to sell some tasting notes way better than I can. He selected whiskey from seven extraordinary barrels. We already read that. Uh, the fourth ever Michter's Celebration Sour Mash is McKee's second. So he's done the 2019 and now the 2022. And then there's the same video, which is on YouTube. So we played it, but go, go watch that and comment. Let them know the wrench sent you. Um, but let's talk a little bit about uh, $6,000. I think people are really harping on that. And I've seen all these articles coming out, you know, celebration $6,000 bottle. The, the title of this video is probably going to be something about the $6,000 bottle of bourbon. And we've been seeing this trend of bourbon getting into the ultra aged you know, super luxurious, this is insane stuff. And, you know, we got the space whiskey going up. Victor's Celebration's been doing this for years now. I think they're trying to get into the space of, you know, where scotch is, where some scotch, we're looking at 50, 60 year old scotch and look how much that's going for. And there are people buying it. I'm just gonna pull this up while we talk and rant or not rant, but just discuss this. This bottle is not marketed for people like me, okay? This is definitely getting into the space of if you can afford a $6,000 bottle and people are buying this, okay? These will go. That, I mean, that's who it's marketed for, the luxurious class of people, you know? The rich get richer, the rich get shiny, flashy toys. I think the price tag definitely doesn't come from you know, we just found the best barrel and they attached some ridiculous story to it to sell it. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of the celebration comes from, you know, maybe a little bit of that, but you gotta look at what some of these other bottles go for on secondary market. You know, look at Pappy. They charge $150, $300 a bottle, and then some dude goes and flips it on secondary and makes a couple thousand dollars. So. As a distillery, I would be like, why don't I just charge that price and I make the money instead of, you know, Billy over there who has some awesome connection makes all this money and screws everyone else over. So why don't I make the money? Maybe a little bit of that goes into it. Yeah, they are putting really aged stuff in there, but they all, he did say they have 12 year old stuff in there. Is that the best barrel of whiskey ever made? Probably not. I mean, that's it's a little bit of marketing and making things more expensive than they need to be. I mean, come on. For example, you could take a, a barrel of Wild Turkey 101, say Jimmy Russell said this is his favorite barrel ever, throw it in a fancy bottle in a box, and look how much people would pay for it when it's just a bottle of 101. You know what I'm saying? This is, is going for people who I think $6,000 isn't the biggest of deals. I don't think 
the average person is going to go sell their kidney to buy one of these. I think, you know, people who are into this type of stuff, maybe they're investing in it, maybe they're collecting it, maybe they really have the money to buy this and drink it. You're paying for an experience, you're paying for something that's just, you know, only 322 other people will get to try it. So, stuff like this needs to exist. Not everything needs to be super budget available, you know? There is room for stuff like this to exist. Uh, you know, it can exist in my dreams. I can taste this. I know that Mictors, they have tours, and I, I don't know the ins and outs and how you get on these tours, but I believe you can go on certain things at the distillery where they let you taste this. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that goes. I'm sure that's probably an expensive tour ticket, but it's not out of reach, okay? You might not ever own a bottle of this, but maybe you could taste it potentially, maybe. Not too much into this, just wanted to discuss what I thought about this bottle. Um, they announced it, you know, most of you guys probably won't ever get to try this like me. So go ahead, leave a comment down below what you think of this. What do you think the market of bourbon is going to? Because you're seeing more and more stuff like this. You're seeing the barrels get shipped to freaking space and orbiting the earth. You're seeing, I wouldn't say a shift in bourbon. I think there is more of a niche that is coming about. Michter Celebration has been doing it for years, but others are kind of following the trend of let's get into luxury bourbon in any way we can. Let's you know, charge ridiculous amounts for whiskey and, you know, have the rich people come and buy it. So there we have it. Leave a like on the video. Go leave a comment. It is a sacrifice to the YouTube algorithm gods. Uh, just go do it. Let's get on out of here. I'm Trevor Wilson. See ya in the next video.